Fury's narrative elegance lies in its subtlety, its enigmatic story unfolding with minimal exposition. Even discerning a coherent surface level narrative is a challenge, so how do we discern the reliability of our interpretation of its deeper narratives? It's easy to receive the overt lesson of fighting for one's freedom and look no further, but you're here because you've sensed there's more. An incoherent core would generate a sense of nihilism, and that's not what we experience. Deeper narratives do exist, coherent and rich with significance. Meaning begets meaning. In Fury, characters and events are interpreted based on the evident narrative, then reevaluated at the story's deeper layers. A fractal narrative structure, echoed throughout its universe from its stars to its atoms. The thematic consistency across these layers bolsters the reliability of our interpretations. The Chain's three masks epitomize this complexity. Viewed from distinct angles, each mask reveals a different meaning. See how the expression changes depending upon the tilt of the observer, thus influencing our interpretation. Similarly, the characters on his disc can be read as Ni Ko in both Katakana and Hiragana, a consistent message from varying perspectives. It embodies Fury's narrative essence, divergent paths and perspectives converging to a shared meaning. Or we can interpret them as equals and pi, and combine that interpretation with others found throughout the game, and arrive at yet a different truth. The multifaceted nature of the story extends to the prison worlds, their descent echoing Dante's Inferno, and their inversion suggesting an ascent from the abyss to a world of light and love. Thus the chain is either closest to the heavens or furthest from them. Each perspective has value and provides a different lesson. These opposing yet complementary views mirror the game's rich thematic tapestry. We are prompted to view the bosses both as jailer and guardian, ourselves as hero and monster, the game through lenses of freedom, sacrifice, hubris, and more. This multivalence isn't incidental, it's essential, forming the core of Fury's narrative identity. This fractal consistency provides a blueprint for interpretation. The recurring themes, evident at varied narrative layers, enhance the probability of their accuracy. Every piece of fury, every character, event, and symbol is interrelated. The theme of different perspectives is a leitmotif, urging players to adopt a multifaceted interpretive approach. The line's admonishment that with experience comes perspective signifies an evolving understanding. Fury invites players to a narrative exploration, where each replay accumulates another piece to the enigmatic puzzle. This strategic ambiguity, this interplay of consistency and multiplicity, fosters a narrative ecosystem where meanings are not absolute but are emergent, crafted in the dynamic interplay between the game's intricate design and the player's interpretive journey. My Fury videos are about one thing, exploring the depths of this fractal narrative. I'm not here to claim a comprehensive understanding or to give you neat package conclusions. Consistency in this case is a luxury and completeness a delusion. It's about meaning. Fury is more than a boss rush challenge. It's an exercise in seeing, interpreting, and understanding. So if you're up for a dive into the deep end of this narrative fractal where clarity meets complexity and answers are as abundant as mysteries, you're in the right place.